Hi guys, so this week's video is a sketchbook update. Now, I am actually um, filming just before my live stream, so it's a little bit of a mess because I've still got to clear up my desk ready for my live stream. So, yes, that's why this box is full of my live stream setup gear. Okay, so we finished this sketchbook with this page, and I will say that there's only two pages in this sketchbook. I almost contemplated not showing these next two pages because there's just only two. But I decided that I should show these pages because it will show my development as an artist. So as you can see here, I'm just gonna flip the camera around so you can actually see, see that as the page intends. Now, this picture is based off the chandelier video I was looking into different poses that I could do and I wanted to test out my brush pen and various different line weights now these are brand new pens that I got and they are from the works and the reason why I wanted to test them out is because they are you know those Stettler ripoffs so they're kind of like Stabilo rip-offs I'd say, more more than um, St Stettler, but um, yeah they work pretty well, there are some really really nice colours in there and it was only £6 compared to Stabilo and, and Stettler brands of pen, so I thought I'd test those out. And the last picture in this one before I go on to my train journal is of Ruby and Vadim. Of course it is. I think I did this during a live stream, that's probably why it's in here. But as you can see, there are no other sketches in this sketchbook. This sketchbook's almost finished anyway, so I dare say there probably won't be much. So not a lot of stuff in the other sketchbook actually makes up for the amount that I've actually done in this sketchbook. There are so many pages. Um, see, that's the last day that I've actually drawn in there, so yesterday from the time I'm filming this. But yes, this was something that went wrong, as you can see, art block. It was supposed to be a Skylar. So April 4th, um, I was kind of inspired by the Book of Kells, if you've ever seen that film. It's a really, really nice animated movie and I was just inspired by the way it looked. Plus the main character, Ash, Ashling, looks like Skylar quite a lot. So that's kind of what inspired me. Obviously, we have Skylar. This was for one of my modules. Um, I have to do book illustrations on the book, The Bloody Chamber. Well, just that story, anyway. So I did some sketches in here. Ruby and this song. Um, the song is called Enemy Fire by B Miller and I really really like that song. The first time I heard it I was like this is my OC song. This is what she's gonna sound like. You know those characters that have like s nice singing voices and you kind of dedicate a voice to that OC? Yeah. <laughs> Ruby's Ruby sound is kind of like that. So Ruby and Vadim again. Melissa and Sugar. I can't draw cats, by the way. I really, really can't. I can see the comments now. You can draw cat. No, lies. <laughs> okay. So this is Kalani and Nazar. He's so cute. <laughs> He's being protective. <laughs> Senpai is mine. <laughs> this is something that I did not complete. It, it was kind of like really really lame because you know those pieces that you start and then you don't finish because you just lose that spark of inspiration immediately. So here is another 
sketch that I did. This was kind of like the same thing, but I wanted it to be cutesier. I wanted it to be more my style rather than this mess. <laughs> I even wrote on it saying, ew, I don't like it. This was more along the lines of what I was after, but it didn't really feel as dynamic and the final pose is actually in in something because it's actually for for one of my module outcomes and I actually like the final one a lot better but I was testing how to do it so Loki and Rocket this is another test that I did and obviously I'll probably scan it and then put it into my sketchbook as development it's a picture of Loki so like a headshot of Loki. This one, okay, this picture is like my favourite picture of Ruby. It, it was supposed to be a Ruby and Vadim picture, but it just turned into a Ruby picture because it just looked too incredible. Like, I just love the way it came out the whole pose the structure just everything about this picture is my favorite or one of my favorites of the month then this little doodle of Vadim and um, Ruby need I say more <laughs> Then there's Ruby in Vadim's coat because I had nothing better to do on my sister's birthday. <laughs> oh god. It's so cute though. I really, <laughs> I really like it. Okay, so this picture was the intent of showing off her powers. So Ruby's powers are gravity. Well, is gravity. So basically she can actually flip the switch on everything. So I purposely drew it the wrong way around in my sketchbook and the foreshortening took me forever. So this is, I feel like Ruby is probably my most experimental character because obviously as, as a pop star, she wears several different outfits, she has costume changes and stuff like that and she can get into so many different poses that the others I just feel can't so that's why I like Ruby so much as a secondary character and as for the secondary characters video probably sometime um, either during May or after May definitely where I introduce these characters because I have three secondary characters I have Ruby which is this one um, Rosanna and Mira <laughs> again Ruby and Vadim because there isn't enough Vadim I mean <laughs> Vadim takes up half of my sketchbook <laughs> yet me and Tati call him Mr. Stupid <laughs> okay this isn't Vadim by the way this is um, kind of like a concept for one of Ruby's like bandmates obviously not a secondary character not even a main character not anything this is just like a purely background decoration in the words of Yandere Dev background decoration <laughs> But yeah, um, I feel like this character pro would be like purely role play, um, and I just wanted to get a design on paper. Um, whether it be the final design, I don't know. And I was thinking of names um, for him, and I was thinking Rio or Rico, because I kind of like that ethnic name kind of feel. I don't know if it is 100% ethnic, but like, you know, I, I really, really liked that feel. And then we have Nicholas. Nicholas, look at him. Oh, it's so cute. Um, Nicholas, obviously, is Loki's stepbrother, if you don't already know. 
Um, this is a concept for Dahlia and Nicholas's baby. <laughs> Obviously there's no big design for like how she looks when she's older but I just drew a baby. <laughs> and I can't draw babies. <laughs> Although me drawing pacifiers or dummies as we say here in the UK or in my area um, has got better because I used to draw them as a circle and they used to look rather odd <laughs> but now they actually look like an ordinary pacifier I say pacifier just for this video cinnamon bun bun <laughs> okay so this was an outfit I wore to university on the 22nd of April and I was like oh I really like my outfit I feel like Mira but with a Loki style hair hair hairstyle yeah that's it <laughs> although I have a lot shorter hair than Loki so yes A2 skit like that's literally an A2 folder I have to carry that around town which is brilliant by the way <laughs> and then we have Vadim and Ruby Ruby's wearing his coat again because reasons <laughs> I actually drew um, Yvonne first, and Yvonne is um, Vadim's brother. <laughs> like, me and Tati, we have a joke. Obviously, pretty much most videos <laughs> will be talking a little bit about Tati because I draw quite a lot of her characters and I draw situational things that happen in role plays and stuff like that. So, that's kind of why. But, um,. Yeah, me and Tati have this joke where Yvonne is just like, marry, <laughs> marry her, or at least get together with her. Like, you're so stupid, you'll never meet another girl like her. Just, just do it. <laughs> Yvonne is like the embodiment of Shia LaBeouf in this one. <laughs> so, next we have a picture of Kai, Loki's son in the future still not canon yeah I really don't know how to explain things brain is mush as always but um yeah I'm not sure about this picture personally I I kind of don't like it I kind of do it's cute but I don't like it because I feel like there's so much wrong with it even though some people are just gonna be like no there's nothing wrong with it shush <laughs> but I think everything is wrong with it the eyes are too big the neck is too long <laughs> oh god damn it but I do like the way the paw prints came out the little heart hearts like ugh. okay so this one is of Nicola now I haven't really posted this one to Instagram because this was like a joint day effort the effort for this one was like a joint day because I started it on April 22nd and I felt like it failed, like it fell flat on its face and I really didn't like it. But on the 25th I fixed it up and I actually made it into something that I really like. So it's actually a piece that is very very similar to the Nicholas picture I did. It, obviously Nicholas speed paint is on the channel this is like a gender bend version in my sketchbook Ruby and Vadim and it says oh yeah she's famous there is no way like everyone she is into Yvonne why am I reacting this way I don't think I've showed this one to Tati if I have I I don't know. I don't think it's on my Instagram. Like, because some of these are not on my Instagram. Alexei and Mira, because I can't get enough of mine and Tati's couples, and now I've started to draw. Well, like, heading into the new month, I've started to draw Din and Skylar again. It's like a, a never ending cycle of my. mine. Tatties and Candies OCs. It's like we're a cycle. 
another Alexei Amira because reasons. This, okay, this one I really, really like and I actually imagine it as, um, as an animation in my head. Um, the lines of the song Little Do You Know by Alex and Sierra, which Tati, thanks a lot for my obsession with that song now. <laughs> Obviously, the first three lines of this song really, really relate to the characters. So, little do you know how I'm breaking while you fall asleep relates to um, Ruby because she's doing tours and sold out shows while everybody's, well, people on the other side of the globe are asleep. They get rest, she doesn't. Um, and then Rosanna is like, little do you know, I am haunted by the memories. She is heavily bullied, so she's still haunted by that and she's really self-conscious. And then Mira is, is like, little do you know, I'm still trying to pick myself up piece by piece. Basically that's a reference to the fact that she is inside a mirror and the mirror smashes. So <laughs> they relate. It's a feely picture. And of course then I drew Mira getting married to Alexei or on the way to get married to Alexei. <laughs> And me and Tati just down here, just like, you will never be happy. <laughs> there is no timeline where you're happy. <laughs> and obviously this present has a tag that says feels on it because yes. And then the final picture that I have done on the 29th, so yesterday when I'm filming this, is a picture of Jalul and it's kind of like a picture that I did of Loki a couple of years ago where one side was her happy everyday life and then the other side was her past and how sad and miserable she was. Um, this is kind of like that where you have a really really kind lovely Jalul on this side who would do anything for anyone whereas this one is like his past self. It's really dark and e evil. Obviously, if I was to colour this, this side would be darker than this side, but because it's just a pencil sketch, it's obviously not. Um, it says, if you play with fire, you are going to, you are gonna get burned. <laughs> and then my signature on the bottom, because feels, isn't it lovely? Well, I'll see you guys in my next video. I hope you enjoyed the sketchbook update as much as I enjoy doing these sketchbook updates. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!